So we had one girl from, uh, from Belgium. She was in a car accident. Somebody had suicided in front of her car, had landed on her, and she was fully paralyzed. She has this implant. Right now, she still has it, which makes that she can get out of bed easier. She can sit up straight. She thinks more clearly. She restarted her PhD. So for her, it's an incredible story. Wow, that's really amazing. So we're here with a very interesting medical uh, innovation uh, from Onwards Arc, uh, where we have Rob. It's a Swiss company, but he's from Belgium. So I'm, we're going to do the uh, interview in English so that Marie can understand. Uh, but yeah, Rob, can you tell us a bit more about what is this device? And yeah, a bit of the background, where did it all start? Of course. So we work for Onwards Medical. And we focus on helping people with spinal cord injuries to regain movement, function, and independence. And for this, we have developed arc therapy. What is arc therapy? Arc therapy is electrical stimulation of the spinal cord. So how does that work? So basically what we do is we put a small implant underneath the skin. So this is implanted. And then this is connected towards leads that are placed along the spinal cord. And depending on the area of the spinal cord that we're stimulating, we can reactivate certain functions. So if you stimulate an area higher, we can help with upper limb mobility. If you go to the center, it's more trunk control, blood pressure. If you go to the bottom, you can even help people to walk again who couldn't do that anymore. Well, that's a very impressive, let's say, end result. Um, how long did it take you to get to this device? Yeah. So we started in 2015, the company was founded. It comes out of a spin-off from the EPFL, uh, the EPFL uh, school in, uh, in Lausanne, which is a technical university, in collaboration with University Hospital. And they really started the foundational research. Now we're almost like eight years later, and we actually have, now we're very close to bringing our first device to market. The first device that we will bring to market is this one. It's basically the same, like we still do spinal cord stimulation, but here we don't have an implant. We can connect this device with electrodes and place them on the outside of the skin and deliver the stimulation like this. Here we published the results in Nature Medicine and we have submitted it to the FDA for final approval for commercialization. Oh, that's, quite, that's, that's very impressive. I know how difficult it is to get into nature, so uh, that must have been quite some publication. And, can you explain a bit more why did it go from this device to uh, the, the, the new one? Because I can imagine like with the implants, it can be quite invasive, right? Or It is invasive, it's an invasive procedure. Like we want to have this device to get started, to get people to know spinal cord stimulation in, an, in a safe way because it's non-invasive. So that is really important for people to get exposure to it, feel comfortable with it. And also then create awareness that we can do much, much more with, uh, with this device. So that's what this one is for. And then hopefully, like we, we're now also continuing with the clinical trials on this device. And then that will be the next, uh, will be the next step. So you have clinical trials with both devices or? Uh... Yeah. Here, this one we completed already. Ah, okay. uh, those are the ones that are published in Nature. And then these are the, here we have ongoing studies. There's, for example, one study recruiting in the Netherlands right now. And can, can you maybe share some of the success stories with one of the devices that, uh, that can be shared with our audience, like yeah. from, a, from a patient that uh, yeah. success? We actually, we have, uh, if it's a Belgian audience, I can talk about a Belgian patient. So we had one girl from, uh, from Belgium. She's paralyzed when she was 22 years old. Uh, she was in a car accident. Somebody had suicided in front of her car, had landed on her, and she was fully paralyzed. Uh, for her, her blood pressure was severely affected. So she had a blood pressure that was 6 over 4, which basically means you need to or lay down with your legs up, or you faint, like she was fainting 10, 12 times a day. She has this implant. Right now she still has it, which literally immediately stabilized her blood pressure uh, to a normal level, which makes that she can, she can get out of bed easier. She can sit up straight, she thinks more clearly. She restarted her PhD, so for her it's an incredible story. Wow, that's really amazing. I think very inspiring story. Uh, in this landscape of devices, is there a lot of competition? Because like the, the first other type of device that springs to my mind is 
Neuralink. We also had Elon Musk, let's say yesterday, I think, talk about it a bit in, at VivaTech. Is this a competition for Neuralink or is there a synergy with, with it? We believe there's more a synergy. So Neuralink focuses on, it's a, Neuralink is a brain-computer interface. And basically the brain-computer interface is going to decode signals from the, from the brain, but then those need to be sent somewhere to have an action. So that's actually what our device will do. It's like you, you have these, uh, these thoughts that are being decoded, they're sent to a stimulator, the stimulator creates like uh, electrical stimulation that then creates that reaction. So we can easily, like uh, we have already like the first implants with a brain computer interface with this device and we would, we would love to do it together with Neuralink as well. I can imagine. Is there still something you would like to ask? Uh, what is uh, the story behind it? How did you come up uh, with this uh, device? So the story behind it, so there's, there's a, it's long research. So we, our founders are Gregoire Courtin and Jocelyn Bloch. Uh, Gregoire Courtin is a researcher at the EPFL University. He's been spending the last 10 years on, uh, on spinal cord stimulation. That has really been his passion and has been his vision. He, he wrote at one point during his research, he wrote it down on a paper, like what his vision was to helping people walk again. And that's kind of what we've been chasing since then. Uh, he was really passionate about the, the walking aspect. But like what we noticed while we started working with, uh, with uh, the community of people with paralysis is that it's not only about walking. There's so much more that they need. They need blood pressure regulation, loss of sensation, uh, bladder control. Uh, so there's many more things that they, that they need. So that's why his research actually started expanding and we started also expanding like the, the product options that we're developing. Okay. And is there one final thing that you want to share towards our audience, like raise the awareness for your products? I think what I want to say is, for us, it's been, it's been an incredibly rewarding journey to work with a community where right now there's really very limited solutions. Like people with paralysis, there's no cure for paralysis. There's, no, there's no ter not a lot of therapies that they have. And the, the, the quality of life of these people tends to be, tends to be really a struggle. So the nice thing, what, is, what has been really rewarding during our journey, is to give hope to these people and really see how it can potentially change their life. Uh, so we got a lot of good reactions and a lot of people are waiting for this technology. Good luck with, uh, with your journey and uh, we'll definitely cheer you on as well with your product. Thank you. Good luck. Nice to meet you.